Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notification instantly. Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh Shotwani from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about Extend Report 3 with Selenium WebDriver. Okay. So if you are completely new to Extend Report, then um, I uploaded one video long back on Extend Report version 1 which was almost three years back and then again I uploaded another version called extend report 2 which, which is also two years back around three years back this is also but uh, in these three years this extend report has changed in terms of syntax in terms of UI so extend report 3 have a new UI and I thought I will create a separate video because if we have been following extend report 2 then you might have to change a code little bit okay so let's get started so in this video i will show you how you can create extent report version 3 and how you can attach the screenshot manually this is for the first video in the second video i will show you how you can attach screenshot automatically if the test case pass or fail okay it's not a feature of extent report this is the feature of test ng but still i will cover the same in the next video so in order to start with extend report if you're completely new to extend report then just to give you a small introduction uh, extend report is a third party api or i will say a small jar which will help you to generate report so if you have if you have been using test engine reports you must have seen they have very basic reporting which is not that attractive so we are using third party apis to create attractive report so now if you go through this site which is extentreports.com and if you go to community edition you will get this page here you will get version 3 2 and other versions so if you're using absolute or oh sorry if you're using version 2 it says it's obsolete but still it works i'm still using version 2 but recently i updated my script to upgrade to version 3 okay so in order to update you just have to use this dependencies okay so if you're not using maven then you might have to go to this particular maven section and download the jar but if you're using maven you just have to give this dependencies and if you click on the documentation it will redirect you to the documentation of say uh, extent report version 3 okay if you want to go back to the second version they have the different reporting so in this video i'm covering version 3 so i will just go back to 3 and you will get this page and if you come to examples you will see a basic uses examples and you can see they already have given a code so i'm just going to explain you the same so first of all you just have to open poem.xml and i'm assuming you must be having this dependencies i already have one dependencies called selenium dependencies so i will go back and download the dependencies so i will just copy this and paste into this eclipse Control shift f for formatting it will take few seconds and it will automatically add few jars which is required for this particular extent report so you can see this mongodb driver came automatically extent report free maker and few more jars which is required for this particular report so i already have a package created let me create a fresh class and this class i will give uh, let's say report create or uh, maybe extend report demo extend report demo and either you can use plain public static void main or you can use test ng or j unit because it is not dependent on any other particular testing framework since it's a separate library so i will say let's say it's my login test and i want to run this test using test ng so I will put at the red test since I don't have test ng here it will not show so what I can do I will go back to mvn repository.com and I will download test ng dependencies I will not say download I will just copy the dependencies and I will use it so when I search for test ng I will get test ng and uh, I'm a big fan of 6.10 because the latest versions I faced multiple issues so I'm still using 6.10 and 
So just go ahead and use 6.10 and just forget and just remove the scope tag. Okay. Sometimes this scope tag might give some issue. So generally I don't give. Okay, so now we have updated. Now if I go back to my test case, if I press control space O or space bar, you can see I'm getting this option called at the test. So now I can go ahead and write my test case. I can write the Selenium script here. Okay, but for the time being, since we are not covering Selenium, I'm just covering reporting part. I will say this is or I will say login to Amazon. Now if I simply right click and run this, it will go ahead and it will run this test and it will create default test ng report, but which I, I don't want that default report. So in order to start with extend report, you need to understand their documentation. So they have mainly three classes. One is extent HTML reporter, then extend report and extend test. These are the three classes you need to remember. So the first class, which is extend HTML reporter, you just have to press control space and it will give you this option to import. Okay, so I will create object of it. So I will say it's a report or uh, let's say yeah, reporter equal to new extent HTML reporter. And you can see it is asking you give me the path where you want to save your particular report. So I will go ahead and copy this. I already have saved one path where I want to generate the report. So in the desktop, uh, okay, okay, no problem. So what I will do, first of all, I will try to create a folder within my workspace so that I can easily access one minute. Okay, so let's create a folder and this folder name I will give reports. And when I right click, okay, I don't need this. Okay, I want to generate the report in this particular report folder. So either I can give the complete path or I can press or type dot slash reports folder. If you put dot operator by default, it will refer to your project working directory and I will say it's a reports folder and my report name should be, let's say learn automation dot HTML. Learn underscore automation dot com dot HTML file. So this is a first step where you need to provide the exact path. Then the second step, you need to create object of it. Okay. Which is nothing but the extent report. This is the main class which will create the report for you. Okay. And this class was already present in version two as well. So you just have to go and import this. And once you create object, now you just type extend dot. You can see it is asking you, give me attach reporter. So whatever reporter we created in the first step, we just given. And now we are ready to start our test. So if you just type extend dot create test, now create test will give you the flexibility that you can provide the test case name and the description as well. Okay, so you can see you can give the name and the description, but there are multiple constructors. So it depends on the usage you can use. I will say this is my login test. So if you put mouse over it, it will return you extent test object. And this I will consider as a logger. So now we are good to go to start our test. So extent is an ob logger object. You can start creating the logs. So if you put mouse over on it, it will show you what exactly they do. So you can see they have so many options. Okay. So you can directly click on log first and whatever logs you want. So let's say status dot info. I need this info step and I will say like login to Amazon. It can be anything. I'm just writing a dummy steps. I can write the info warning error pass fail whatever I want. So as of now, this is info section and uh, let me add one more called pass. 
okay so even if a single step has a pass it will show your test case as passed if a single step contains fail it will fail the complete report and let's say log into google or i will say title verified or anything which you want once you are done with this you just have to call uh, extent extent dot flush flush will completely flush the report it means it will write the content whatever you have written and you will get the fresh record okay and if you want this you can keep this either at the starting or the end like it doesn't matter because this is the code which you have written it will generate the report for you so just right click run as test ng test and yes you can see the test executed like it's running test pass now if you want to check just right click on your project refresh you'll get this report folder already have one dot html file which i will open as a web browser and you can see we got the report and this report looks promising as this is info and right now you can see only single test because we have created only single test so far so let's go ahead and let's create one more test okay and since it's a custom report you don't have to create a separate test annotation you can directly create a test within this particular method as well okay so what do i mean uh, if you just copy paste this okay it's a logger 2 and this i will say this is log of test and now whatever whatever i want to write i will simply say logger 2 i will not say logger 1 because logger 2 will associate with the second test case and this time i will fail this particular scenario okay so that you will understand and one more thing which you need to keep in mind once you are done with your test you need to call this flush method so that it will complete the test one then it will start another log on and it will create another test for you okay this instance matters so now if i go ahead and if i just say so my second report learn automation one and run as test ng test yes it got executed and if i simply go ahead and just type one you can see this is log of test this is login test and why it is failing because one step we already added as fail so if you want to add multiple just you need to keep on adding the loggers and you can call this flush method multiple times it will generate multiple tests in your report it is not necessary that you need multiple test annotation to create multiple test okay it is up to you how you want to use it it's you can customize based on your requirement now the requirement comes comes let's say if i need to attach a screenshot okay so a screenshot already they have a method okay so if you just go here to their documentation they already mentioned that either you can use okay just let me show you you can give this add screen capture path which will directly add the screenshot or else you can give the screenshot with the logs i will show you both okay so what you need to do let's say in the second test case i need to add few screenshots so i will just use this logger too now both works in the same manner okay this is uh, one class is missing so we need to import this and this will throw you one io exception so you can throw this exception okay now you can see here i if look, let me just show you one by one so i will comment this i want to attach a screenshot and i need to provide the path so i which is this and i want to add this particular screenshot in this report so i will just go ahead and give the path so what it will do it will go ahead and attach this screenshot to my report and make uh, as you can see we are using logger too so it will go ahead and add this screenshot in the second test if you want to just cross verify just right click run as test ng test and just go back to the report okay you can see in the second test case it already added one dot jpg file or i'm not sure which file is this it's uh, yeah jpg file 
but you can see it has added in a very weird format like it is adding at the left hand side where status and timestamp should come so that's the reason they have already given this like if you want to attach a screenshot on failure you can use this particular format where you can say fail whatever details you want to provide and which screenshot you want to attach okay so i will suggest just go with this particular approach because it will make sense to add a screenshot with details and i will say failed because of some issues okay we'll write the exception in the next video like what exactly the exception is coming so this will add the detail plus these are the inbuilt method which you will get directly from extent report once you download the dependency and this is the screenshot we want to attach let's click run as test and gts go ahead and just see you can see it came with a proper flow fail timestamp and this is the detailed description and the screenshot not only with fail let's say in pass also you want to attach a screenshot then you don't need to do anything else just remove from pass to fail to pass and it will attach again a fresh screenshot you can see pass screenshot so like this they have pass fail skip error warning fatal depends on the usage you can use okay so right now you can see we are using this uh, hard coded uh, path but in the upcoming videos i will show you how you can capture this at runtime pass here and it should attach in a report automatically okay okay that's all i have for this video thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more updates and if you like this video please share with your friends and hit the like button below have a nice day. Bye-bye.